While I've been working to reduce wildfires, the Biden regime has been busy setting fires on the southern border. I joined on to Congressman Matt Rosendale's letter calling out Secretary Mayorkas for scrapping ICE and DHS while our country is being overrun by criminal aliens. Mayorkas turned the whole country into a sanctuary city by prohibiting ICE from enforcing the rule of law at woke colleges, welfare offices, playgrounds, and Antifa riots. When it comes to her job as an elected official, Lauren Boebert finds no conspiracy too nonsensical or issue too small for her to go out of her way to do something about. Right here you can see she wrote a letter to the Supreme Court about a gun rights issue. I also joined with my colleagues in filing an amicus brief defending the Second Amendment to the Supreme Court, which is reviewing a case challenging New York's restrictive gun laws. If we win, this decision could solidify the right to bear arms for 85 million Americans. And she's propping up this ridiculous conspiracy theory about the University of Pittsburgh. Harvesting organs of aborted babies is barbaric, and it's a, a practice that should be relegated to horror movies, not taxpayer-funded so-called research. And she's going out of her way to make big deals about these, sending letters everywhere, sc screaming at the top of her lungs about just complete, utter nonsense. Anything that's even slightly an issue to anyone in her base is treated as though it's some sort of national emergency. She literally went out of her way to write a letter to the Attorney General to cry about the fact that he had mentioned that school boards across the country are reportedly experiencing a huge rate of harassment and literal death threats on the internet from random people who are terrified about critical race theory. I sent a letter to Attorney General Garland demanding to know what data he was using to assert that school boards were seeing an increase in violent threats. As it turns out, the only basis the Attorney General had for telling the FBI to target American parents as domestic terrorists was a now rescinded letter from the National Association of School Boards. Lauren Boebert literally tried to turn that into, oh, they're attacking the parents. Can you believe they're attacking these poor innocent parents who are just, you know, storming schools and school board meetings and complaining about something that isn't happening, to be very clear. No public school is teaching critical race theory. But this draws a very stark contrast to what the Democrats are doing right now. I mean, it does not take very much effort to you to turn around to the Democrats and find a dozen that are crying about Black Lives Matter, that are crying about defund the police, and they're crying about everything that anybody in their base is saying. They're crying about all the activist movements about the country, and they're actively resisting doing anything. <laughs> What's wrong with just stupid wokeness? All right, you just, don't just look at Virginia and New Jersey. Look at Long Island. Look at Buffalo. Look at Minneapolis. Even look at Seattle, Washington. I mean, just defund the police, lunacy. It just really uh, have a suppressive effect all across the country. The Democrats. Some of these people need to go to a woke detox center or something. We have people like Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin who are basically laughing it up about denying higher wages and health care. And then you've got Democrats that instead of focusing on Kirsten Cinema or Joe Manchin are choosing to blame the woke mob for daring to suggest that we have any type of racial justice, economic justice, or climate justice in our country at all. It's a climate disaster to close the port in China. It can delay shipment of furniture or clothing, reduce worldwide supply, and driving up prices here in America. And the irony is people have more money now because of the first major piece of legislation I passed. You all got checks for $1,400. You got checks for a whole range of things. Well, everyone, Joe Biden's at it again. For no apparent reason, Joe Biden has decided to hand a victory to the Republican. If you're a mom and you have kids under the age of seven, you're getting 300 bucks a month. And if it's over, th th over 7 to 17, you're getting $360 a month, like wealthy people used to do when they get back tax returns. It changes people's lives. But what happens if there's nothing to buy, you got more money, you compete for get getting it there, it's, it creates a real problem. So on the one hand, we're facing new disruptions to our supplies. At the same time, we're also experiencing higher demand for goods because wages are up, 
as well as as well as people have money in the bank. Joe Biden's here saying that is the stimulus checks that have caused all of this inflation around us, which is really infuriating because it is complete nonsense. It is a Republican talking point that the whole purpose of it is to try and claim that giving money to poor people is somehow harmful for the economy all while they are passing constantly tax cuts for the rich. The fact that Joe Biden is conceding literally one of the best things that came out of his presidency as a failure that caused inflation is just completely ridiculous. He is literally burying his one major victory as president so far. 